Difficult dialogues are essential dialogues. These are the conversations that people do not want to have. Any conversation that we basically politically, ethnically, that we just decide that we don't want to talk about are the difficult conversations. And maybe people might talk about them in their house at the dinner table, but they don't want to talk about them in the workplace. They don't want to talk about them at school. They don't want to talk about the, this in their friend circle. Why not? Why not? That's the big question. People don't want to talk about this for the simple reason is that they're going to have to take some time to reflect, to think about the words that they're going to choose, to think about others, which is empathy, right? Trying to put yourself in somebody else's shoes, which folks don't like doing that. It takes work. It takes time. It takes patience to have these difficult dialogues. When we think about difficult conversations, we have to look at ourselves. We have to ask ourselves, why do I feel uncomfortable? Why don't I want to engage in this topic? Why do I put everything else in front of me that's supposedly not as important? And why does this always take the back burner? Why do I silence my colleagues and my students and other people that bring up this conversation? Alice Walker says it so beautifully. She says, we have to own the fears that we have of each other. And then in some practical way, some daily way, figure out how to see people differently than the way we were brought up to.